Okay. Um, as a chef, as a young chef, years ago, I was working on my menu cards, and um, there were a lot of times I was really until late in the night thinking how to find that one special thing in a dish. Uh, you know, when you like to cook or you have a, uh, or you're, you, you like to, to eat uh, good things, then the dish which will stay in your memory is a dish which will have just one special thing. And somebody asks you the next day, oh, you've been in a restaurant? And uh, what dish have you eaten? And the most wonderful thing for a chef is that you can remember that dish and when you close your eyes and say, oh yes, I can taste it again. That's the most important thing for a chef. But why is it so difficult to find just that one accent, that one special thing which make a dish so timeless? It has to do with our brain, with our mind. Um, years later, when I was a little bit older, I discovered or I found out that we can only remember seven things from out our short memory brain. So when I tell somebody, okay, you like uh, avocado, who's our, who are his best friends? And you say, um, yeah, maybe uh, garlic and uh, nachos, and you know, uh, tomato salsa. But there are much more friends for an avocado. This is one. These are all the friends. And you see here, I can even make a dessert of avocado with a mango. Yeah, so try imagine the nutty taste, a bit of creamy, yeah, and the freshness of an avocado, and the freshness of maybe a kiwi, and I put some coconut, and then I have a wonderful dessert. So, if you look at all the best friends, I call it my fla flavor friends, of an avocado, then a world of possibilities is going open. And then you can, with your brain, you go from left to right, from above to under to find and grab the things you can't remember to make a new exciting dish. So this, I was working on this method on uh, about 12 years because I was thinking there must be a way to make it more easier to be more creative and innovative in the kitchen. And this is also very helpful when you have your fridge full of all ingredients and you, um, you think, oh, is this possible to, to combine with each other? And the flavor friends method will help you. You see all the possibles of an avocado, all the techniques, and you see on the right, you see all the, 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 the vegetable friends. The only thing the method is asking, use your intuition, because when you like to eat or when you are a food lover or a chef, everybody has a, a reference of taste in his brain and also a reference and memory yeah, of flavor. And that's how we know that a combination will fit. You see all the spices and herbs, all dairy and all fish and meat. And so, from one of this uh, 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 mind map, I can create, I think, about 500 different avocado dishes. And for me, I, w I wish I had to uh, <laughs> find this out when I was, uh, when I was a young chef. Um, then I didn't have uh, to, to think all those nights of those new dishes. And this makes it much more exciting and all the ingredients much more sexy because you see in one view what's all possible. And talking about sex or even maybe love, I brought some friends. And, uh, but before they can come on stage, um, we have to understand what sex or even better love is. That's the difference. <laughs> it's another TED talk. <laughs> yeah? But uh, we have to understand nature. And um, uh, a lot of times we, we, we eat fake. We think we are just eating it. And then, then we say, oh, yeah, it's, it's not real. Yeah? It's, uh, and we buy it also, like maybe in a salad. And you can find it in your sushi or in a sandwich. And it's packed in a... A small, tiny strip, white, white, red strip, pink, red, and uh, it's like uh, the, the minced meat hot dog of the sea, because when you 
uh, read uh, uh, on, the, on the back side of the package uh, where you have your glasses with you, um, you, you read 000.1% of crap. Like the Americans say, real crap. It's surimi. You know the surimi. Yes? Okay. So we eat it a lot of time, but have you ever tasted the flavor of the real crab? Yes, I hope. Here are my friends. <laughs> and I like to tell them, I like to tell you about their love lives. Because when you ever heard the love life of the crabs, then you, you, will, ever, uh, you will ever eat it on a different way. And then you will remember the story. It's a story as a respect for nature. And before I can tell you about the love life, we have to know who is the male and the female. Yes, they're alive. I just put new batteries in it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, he's a little bit big. So this is the male. Yes, quiet, 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 quiet. So, okay, because this is, you know, when you, when you walk on the market in Italy or France, you often see uh, those kind of uh, crabs. He likes a mango too. And then, how funny is it when you, when you can tell, oh, this is a male and this is the female. So the female has a, a broader rump. Eh? Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Here we are. So she can keep her eggs. Yes? And the male has a kind of an arrow. Oh, he likes to have love, I think. As a kind of arrow. Remember, it is a bow and an arrow, a man, a hunter. So, but he is a real gentleman. <laughs> Just one second, I have to, uh, this one is always on the right. So I have here the male, and here I have the female. Sometimes it hurts, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> it's part of the act. Huh? <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, 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 this is really hurting very much. Okay, now, <laughs> I tell a very, it was, um, uh, so he's a gentleman. He's waiting a very long time before he can love her because he just wants to have sex at one moment. And that's when she needs something. Doesn't it sound familiar? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. She needs a new coat because she is growing out of her shell and she needs the help of him to put it off. So, they have a very primitive sign language. He's following her already a couple of months, and then he tap with his claw on the floor, or he wave. And that can mean two things, go away or we'll fight, or come here, we have love. Hobby? <laughs> yes? So then, assume she likes, eh, because she's growing out of her coat, then they have a very nice position, and it's a very exciting position. So, this is him, eh? This is male, yeah? Okay. Okay, so you see his very big claws, eh? And then, it takes eight days of a foreplay to put off her coat. Eight days, yes? Piece by piece, he put off her shell. And then, she has a very vulnerable skin. And that's the only way when they can make love. Yeah? That's one of the secrets of nature. You can imagine when you know this story, you will ever, when you eat crap, not crap, but crap, yeah? when you eat a crap, you will always think of the story. When I was a chef, I was ashamed when I, knowing this is living for five years, to grow like this big, like one kilo, when I, maybe sometimes it happens in the kitchen, I cook it too long for two minutes, then the structure of the meat is like a little bit like a chewing gum. When I was a crab, I say, holy shit, yeah, that's a nice problem. I live for five years and now my flavor isn't all right. Yeah? Because somebody didn't watch out in the kitchen. Yeah? Another secret of the crab is they have their own sauce. And the sauce is like a liver. And 
a lot of chefs, a lot of chefs don't know where the short sauce is. Also, not of, a lot of consumers don't know. Here in this body, there are two kind of bags. As, as nature, it, it tends to, uh, the way to preserve it like this. And this is the liver, and this is the most creamy, wonderful delicatesse of the crab. Maybe when you eat in France, you, there are some uh, restaurants who serve the crab in the shell, and then you see like a smurri murri, you know, that creamy, <laughs> that creamy thing, yeah? And that's so much worse. Okay, so as respect for nature, we use, and when you eat animals, use everything. We use the shell and uh, we use the, the meat from the claws, we use the, she the shell to make a bouillon or an extract, and we use the liver. And this is the only thing you need to enjoy real crab. Okay, so the conclusion, don't eat fake. Just go for the original things. Let me see. So scramble your brain. Um, try to analyze things and be, be curious what nature gives us. Okay, then another thing about the taste of life or the flavor of life is scramble your brain and try to fantasize more and dream big. For me, the sky is the limit. And uh, a lot of years ago, I did a, a lot of uh, training about creative thinking, and it hits me to think on a way that I, that I dare to fantasize about everything. And we know all how to brainstorm, but dreamstorm is something special. Dreamstorming is like a kind of hyper-creativity, where you ask yourself, what? If everything is possible, what should you do? And wouldn't it be great if I could this or could that? I think everybody uh, has sometimes a moment to think, oh, wouldn't it be great? And then what we do, we put it in the fridge and we laugh a little bit about our ideas. And that's, that's uh, somber. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't shoot. <laughs> don't shoot on your own ideas, and don't shoot on the ideas of other persons. You don't have a license to kill the ideas. I had once a dream about a restaurant. I saw a hot air balloon and I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if I can make a restaurant in a hot air balloon? Oh, yes. Wouldn't it be great if I can find a technique to pull up the food like a happy chicken or a sea bass in the top of the balloon where it's 90 degrees and where it can cook. Would it be great? Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. Just a simple system and you pull it up. And a balloon is 50 meters high and have 10,000 cube of, in, of volume. Oh. Yeah, see, it works. And you do this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> then, is it possible to build a restaurant in a balloon basket? Yes, this is my restaurant. Is it possible to cook outside of the basket, not outside of the box? Yes, outside of the basket of the balloon. You can create a kitchen because inside is too small to cook. Yeah. Is it possible to, to enjoy a lovely uh, lobster or crab salad in a balloon at one and a half kilometers high? Yes, it's possible. Is it possible, wouldn't it be great when you get used to your idea to say, hey, now we have only one balloon, with 12 persons, can we connect three balloons for 50 persons? Yes, it's possible, no problem. Can we imagine that uh, one balloon is the kitchen balloon and two, rest to the, to the two other balloons are the restaurants, and we can create like a kind of pulling system? Can we put two chefs on the top of the balloon that bring my dish? Yes, wouldn't it be great if? Yes, then they jump out to make already the dessert, yeah, before the balloon is landed. Yes, it's all possible. I'll show you. Here's the movie.
eerste culinaire ballonvaart ooit in de wereld gaat hier gebeuren in Harfsen, in Gelderland, in Nederland in 2003. Je ziet hier drie ballonnen die aan elkaar gekoppeld zijn. De grootste ballon ter wereld, de ene grootste en hier nog een hele grote ballon waar, de, waar het restaurant in zit. De gerechten die hangen hier allemaal onder ons in de chute. Normaal is deze chute ervoor om bij het landen de ballon te kunnen openen aan de bovenkant, zodat de warme lucht aan de bovenkant eruit kan. We hebben nu aan deze tapes, dat noemen ze loodtapes, daar hangen nu eigenlijk alle gerechten in een rondje, hangen zo rondom de ballon. Dus uh, ja, ik kan ze nu dan even kijken hoe, uh, hoe de gerechten, hoe ze erbij hangen. En uh, alleen het is erg warm. Mooi dorade filet met stoetsure komkommer, citroenvinaigrette en dragonolie. Ideas. Ja, ja. Nou, nou, zo, die zijn een beetje. Ja, zo. Oké. Okay. The most important things believe in your ideas to give just a meaningful experience. And uh, when it is just one idea, you can go on. Because is it possible to balloon, to go ballooning above the clouds? Yes, it's possible to buy your own balloon and go above the Alps. Yes, it's possible. And is it possible to believe in your own ideas? It's possible just to give um, an experience with a memory. And it's energy for yourself and for the people around you. And for me, that is the flavor and the taste of life. There you are.